Alright, recording. Welcome back to set 16. Hello. Now, I got a little bored and attacked Ultimate Weapon a few times. Well, so uh, since he's attacked Ultimate Weapon a couple of times, we're gonna kill him. When he starts flying over this spot, it means you can kill him and get Cloud's Ultimate. So, kill him. <laughs> we have it set so that everyone has a triple or double growth equipment. Because we're expecting quite a bit of AP. That does quite a bit of damage. I did find something interesting out. Oh yeah, I also got Sid's mop by the way. We were wrong in the context of they can only get Bahamut Zero through the huge material. Really? And I think I've discovered where the myth of turning into Bahamut came from. Okay. Inside the Bone Village, you can get Bahamut Zero. Okay. But it's at a 3 point some odd percent chance. That's only if you missed it with the uh, train. You get it at the same area where you'd get the mop. Okay. The same is true if you missed Phoenix. You can get that there as well. Mm -hmm. Now I believe the myth of that you can turn to Bahamut came from being able to get Bahamut Zero in that area. And in a sense, you do turn to Bahamut when you summon. And Soul could be mistaken for Zero, depending on which card you use. So my belief is someone looked at the Japanese bit, saw Bahamut's soul in Japanese and Kanji, and saw Cloud summon Bahamut Zero and thought that's what happened. It's quite interesting. Yeah, you can get a lot of the stuff that you miss in Bone Village. Shadow Flare, it's gonna be on Cloud. And he learned Shadow Flare. That is the obviously final attack for him. Unfortunately, Cloud didn't get any anywhere near that much AP. Cloud didn't get any AP. Yeah, but we did get the ultimate weapon. And that's all that's left of Ultima. This allows you to go to uh, the ancient forest, but... Since we've already been it. there. Let's nest now we have Shadow Flare, which I believe is the, one of the strongest spells in the game. Yep, there it is. Now, he's not the only creature you get Shadow Flare from, so don't worry. <coughs> it's just, he's the earliest you can get it from. Shukio's also gotten uh, what's what we call the guidebook. The guidebook is uh, oh. he's not there yet. He's going to crater. Okay. Well, uh, the guidebook is uh, something that you can get in Junon underwater reactor, where uh, it's, it's that a uh, boat-like boss. It's the skeleton on the boat. <laughs> with the paddle. Basically think of uh, Charon from Greek mythology. Those that don't know, that's the ferryman that carries people across the river sticks. If you morph him, you get a guidebook. Which is important for a side quest. <clears throat> I think so. You mentioned it when we first came to call him. Mm -hmm. There he is.
<coughs> so, talk to him. <coughs> now, this material is important. It comes mastered, and it's the only one that you can have of it. Yeah. It's like the uh, Master Materia. It has no star level. Hey, Bobby. <coughs> this allows you to breathe underwater. And for those that have accidentally run to Emerald, you suddenly realize why that's important. Yeah. Normally, if you go up against an emerald <coughs> weapon without the underwater materia, uh, you have 20 minutes to kill it. If you don't, game over. And the other two items come from... Ruby and emerald weapon. Yep. You get the earth harp from emerald. And the desert rose from ruby. <coughs> Now, what were we supposed to do before we went on? Before our, we have a flower from Midgar? We're supposed to go to uh, the crater to see that the yeah, thing is. Ah, oh, right, right. <clears throat> now, it may take you guys a little bit longer to get Ultimate Weapon to fly over Cosmic Canyon. I was lucky and got him to fly over it after two battles. <clears throat> and I think it helped that I used All Creation and High Wind on him. All Creation killed him once, High Wind killed him the other time. I'd say that has a lot to do with it. And then I just, you know, chased after him and rammed into him with the ship. <coughs> He's my student, ain't he? That's not why. No. Badass. Doesn't care about his life as long as he's, you know, the one charge. You have to give him credit for being devoted. Yeah. Crazy motherfucker, but... Devoted nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hello. Sorry, I keep hitting side to tell me that she got someone in the fatal frame. <laughs> I'm doing a fatal frame lobby if I could get a hold of games again. So Reeves has been taking the captive. Right. Now, uh, this is the point in time in the game where you're going to want to figure out who you want in your party at the end of the desk. Oh, yeah. I want to go in the crater. Which can't yet. It's also a good time to finish up all the little details you haven't done yet. Like, you can fight the weapons now if you want. Except for Ruby. Uh, you can get Sids. Well, not Sids. Well, you can but you can get a uh, Red 13's ultimate weapon now. It's a good idea to go get that ultimate weapon. Yeah. 